welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hi my name is Moba and if you're a channel subscriber thank you so much for coming back so this is episode 5 of advice Wednesdays with Moa today we're gonna be talking about being toxic are you toxic am I toxic I don't know let's find out let's find out in this video you and me you and me both let's find out if we're toxic and also let's find out what we can do in order to stop being toxic being toxic is not a nice vibe and we're all about the vibes so if your vibes are not good people around you won't want to be around you anymore so if you're interested in finding out what being toxic is and ways in which you identify yourself as a toxic person continue watching this video i really hope you learn something from this and that you will also put in the effort to try and not be toxic because being toxic is not a good trait but before we get into this video i'm just going to advertise some long reach products oh the sun is hating don't be a hater like the sun right now okay i'm just going to insert an image over there so firstly is their hand cream the hand cream is something that i use on a daily if you are interested in getting this hand cream make sure to go to the long reach zm the money team on ig i'm going to link it down below so you guys can go and get yourself some long reach products guys you will not be disappointed they are really really good products long reach is a business that provides you with day-to-day -day products and in the long run you start to earn money just by being part of long reach so if you're interested go and click that link in my description box so you can get your products or so you can join long reach and be a part of my team the other thing that i have with me is this which is the classy style energy cup um, I'm just going to be drinking water out of this throughout this video because we have to stay hydrated and if you want to know what an energy cup is you should go and watch my video that I'm going to link somewhere there you should go and watch it where I was talking about the long range products okay guys enough about long range let's get into this video and let's find out if we are toxic first things first what is being toxic who is a toxic person so i have my laptop on the side and i'm just going to read the description from here because i googled this of course i like to do some research and i look for articles then i just you know grab those things and then come and speak to you about them okay so the description is a toxic person that's a toxic person that's <laughs> They know that people are busy and they decide to have loud vehicles. Why? As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, a toxic person is someone who makes others feel bad through their words or their actions. Okay, so they bring other people down more than up and they leave people exhausted, emotionally drained and negative. I also went ahead and looked at 17 signs that you are toxic. Um, but of course, I'm not going to read you guys all those 17 signs because this video is going to be extremely 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 long so i wrote down like six points that we're going to talk about if you guys are going to want a part two make sure to comment down below i will come back with some other signs that you are toxic okay so now that we know what being toxic is how do you then know that you are toxic the first thing is people avoid you or disappear out of your life for good the ones that disappear out of your life for good don't even make it known to you as to why they're disappearing the examples that people avoid you are that friends are always making excuses excuses as to why they can't hang out with you like excuses that are so useless like i have to catch up with the series that i've been watching you're choosing a series over me um the other thing is people leave you so soon after they come into your life you meet someone everything was going so well when you met each other and then like a few days down the line the person starts giving you some hints that they don't want to speak with you or they don't want to hang out with you take a step back and think mm, is there something i did is there something i said then you can try and identify whether you did something or that person is maybe just being weird i hope you get what i mean then the other thing is people never want to work with you like for example group assignments or group projects or like you know those things at work where they want you guys to be in like teams and stuff like that no one wants to be in your group like everyone's looking around you're out there busy saying hey i'm here i'm here i'm here but no one wants to pick you 
ah uh, and then the other thing is people just generally avoid conversations with you i know such people like to be honest like people who just have this heaviness this energy that's like bad vibes you don't want to speak to them they just have these toxic traits that are just not appealing point number two you are highly critical and think you are superior to others like i understand there's constructive criticism and stuff like that but then there are other times where things shouldn't even be criticized like everyone knows like mm, that was unnecessary there's no need for you to criticize the person so harshly you like to criticize people's ideas like even when you know that the idea is great like you if someone comes to you and they tell you like oh dude i have this idea for a photo shoot da -da -da -da. they tell you i want to wear this dress i want to use flowers i want to use this type of background it's such a great idea but because you just want to be the toxic person that you want to be you bring them down and you say like Haha, that's so ridiculous like who does that these days da -da -da -da. you know then you're showing toxic traits and you are toxic do something about it yeah so let's go now to point number three um another sign that you are toxic is that you are controlling and emotionally manipulative let me say that again you are controlling and emotionally manipulative am i pronouncing that word right manipulative manipulative yeah it's like you use emotional blackmail to get things done for you like um i've heard stories of people who were in like toxic relationships so whenever she wanted to break up with this guy he would bring up like ah but you know how my illness for example if someone has asthma and then they've been treating you bad they're not nice to you the relationship is going down the line down the drain and you feel like okay i'm ready to leave this person and then when you tell them that you want to leave them they start to tell you things like ah oh, but my asthma how am i supposed to breathe without you they make you feel guilty for the decision that you're making knowing for a fact that they are wrong then that person is toxic very very toxic and you must leave if you leave i'm going to kill myself stuff like that like i've literally read about people who say that like if you leave me i'm going to kill myself so then the person ends up staying in that toxic relationship because the person that they're with manipulated them emotionally another thing um is that you have this my way or the highway type of mentality people can bring ideas to you people can do things a certain way you know best you have this what's that thing called superiority complex something like that you just want to be up there you you want to use people as your pawns it's like they must do things whatever you tell them they must do it it's like a simon says type of mentality the next point is you do not apologize or admit wrongdoing this one my friends is not gonna lie this one is really really difficult like i am someone <laughs> i am someone who doesn't like to say sorry like i don't like to apologize and stuff like that i don't like it but i do it especially when i know for a fact that i'm wrong but there are certain situations where people have put you in a sorry people have put you in a situation where um they make you feel like you need to apologize but then when you assess the situation you're like mm, but i'm not wrong I am really not wrong then i feel like you shouldn't be forced to apologize but when you know deep 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 down in your heart you know that you are wrong but you don't want to apologize you're being toxic like if you stop like you would rather make an excuse than actually apologize you can't utter words such as i'm sorry i apologize i was wrong you were right those words they never leave your mouth because you 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 just believe that you are right like every single time you are right no my friend you are wrong sometimes and you should admit to those wrongs okay everyone makes mistakes you shouldn't feel bad for making those mistakes okay i don't know if i've actually said it on this channel but if you feel like you can't express those words like verbally write them down write them down and show the person if you want you can even send a text if you are really really finding it difficult to say it face to face find a way in which you can still transfer the message if you want send a voice note the message will still reach your friend uh, they'll still 
hear at least that you're sorry for something that you did wrong. Um, the next point is you humiliate people to gain applause from the crowd. Ah, I've seen people who like to do this. And to be honest, it's so annoying. Like it's really, really annoying. Why are you embarrassing your friends just to get people to laugh? It first starts out like a friendly banter type of thing. But then now it, it like becomes your story every time you go out like for example your friend meets a guy and they're talking and then you want to cook block the situation or you want to just embarrass your friend in front of the guy or in front of the girl and you start to say things like by the time you messed up in class I started a period <laughs> that was so funny why are you even telling someone that why do you remember the time you went to bed in boarding school ah <laughs> that was so funny why why <laughs> why are you doing that Another thing is you want to point out your friend's insecurities in front of people so that you can make them feel bad or so that people can laugh like, ah, how can you say that? It's inappropriate. It's not okay. It's not okay for you to do that. The last sign that you are a toxic person or like your friend is toxic is that you never want to compromise. Guys, compromising is a very very important thing especially in friendships relationships whatever situation it can't always be me 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 i don't want this no let's do this instead da, da, da. like for example if someone wants to go on a date with you all your dates are centered as to what you like like if you like swimming then every time your dates are just at swimming places whereas your friend can't even swim so they always just sit and just take pictures of you maybe your friend wants to go hiking you don't like hiking but like hiking has always been part of this person and you know it even if you don't like going for movies at the cinema like you start to say things like ah i like to be in bed when i'm watching movies is that really something you can't change in order to just at least please the other person yes you like watching movies in bed but can you go and watch a movie in the cinema just because your partner wants to do it so now like what do you do after you realize that you have these toxic traits well the solution is that you do the opposite the opposite of every single thing that i just pointed out to you if you're not someone who compromises start compromising if you're someone who likes to shame people keep your mouth shut think before you act if you're someone who likes to um think it's only your way or the highway find ways in which that you can try to listen close your mouth listen assess the situation bring your point across yes you you have the right to speak but find ways in which you can speak and communicate better with the other people so that you can create a balance so guys that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed doing it because most of the times people don't want to admit that they're toxic you don't have to admit it to everyone but at least acknowledge the fact that okay you might be toxic and do something about it because you're affecting your relationships, friendships, every social interaction that you have in your life. And that's not okay because no man is an island. We all need people around us. So yeah, guys, that's it for me for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Share my video, share my channel and come back for more videos. Also, turn on that notification bell so you know every single time I upload a video. And... Tell a friend to tell a friend about this channel. Help me grow because growth is what we're doing this year. See you in next week's episode. Bye!